Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, our unseasonably warm trend continues, as will our active weather pattern. A little bit of a break right now, but uh, moving forward, we do have the chance for some scattered showers uh, throughout the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Record warmth still on track for Friday, and then uh, watching for at least the potential for a coastal storm to kind of brush southern New England, at least as we see it now, Sunday night into early Monday of next week. So earlier today, temperatures reached the upper 40s and low 50s, inland between 50 and 55 along the shoreline. Again, feeling more like late March as opposed to early to mid-February. So as we uh, head into Friday, temperatures will be even warmer than what was just on that map. We'll get to that in just a moment. Right now, uh, 30 in our capital city uh, and looking live from New Haven. We've got 30 degrees there uh, in, in uh, New Haven. So uh, temperatures kind of all over the board, depending upon the clear uh, of the clearness of the sky is in tandem with the wind that has gone calm in some spots. So Norwich, Willimantic down to 27. Meanwhile, uh, we've got 39 in Waterbury, 30 for Part for 37 right now in Torrington. So uh, we do have cloud cover kind of uh, beginning to overspread the state right now of the uh, cirrus variety, those high level clouds you can see here kind of scattered in nature working across southern New England well in advance of a storm system that's generally heading in our direction. So high pressure that's been in control today bringing us the bright blue sky earlier is moving offshore. This area of low pressure moving out of Arkansas and through Missouri heads up across the Great Lakes. Initially a push of milder air is going to be a arriving so temps tomorrow actually uh, will start to increase as we head from the afternoon into the evening hours and uh, we could see perhaps a, a little bit of a wintry mix if we see some midday showers pop up you can see a few specks here around the lunchtime tomorrow otherwise with temperatures well into the mid if not upper 40s by tomorrow evening we're talking about scattered areas of light rain so nothing too impactful for us uh, the main energy again with this system passing uh, through the Great Lakes so uh, temps tomorrow likely reaching at least the mid 40s inland mid and upper 40s uh, likely doing so toward and after sunset and then before midnight is when we will likely see our high temperatures for tomorrow then for Friday uh, behind this storm system a westerly flow kicks in with plenty of sunshine as we end the week and the big story will be that westerly breeze but as well the likely record warmth the record high for the Hartford area 55 that's a 114 year old record that is certainly in jeopardy more recently from Bridgeport from 2001 the record currently stands at 54 for the 10th day of February. So we're forecasting mid 50s as we close out the week. Saturday will trend cooler, but still above average normal highs in the mid and upper 30s. Uh, and then on Sunday, watching again this potential storm. Here's the latest from the uh, the European model uh, showing the storm developing to our south. And then we'll be right on the cusp, if you want to believe this model several days out, uh, kind of brushing southern New England as we head Sunday night into Monday morning and then pulling away from southern New England. So at least as of now, doesn't look to be a, a big high impact event for us, but still several days out. We'll keep you updated. Want to give you the early warning that maybe by the Monday morning commute I may have some precip to deal with. Otherwise for Valentine's Day on Tuesday, back near 50, partly to mostly sunny, back in the 50s a week from now for Wednesday with increasing chances for rain later in the day. All right, Mark, thank you. Has you seen that seven day right